toy. This is my latest accessory for my PP700W. So I thought I'd finish off the build with a bipod. Now when I got this, this was a bit confusing. Because how to set up your weaver rail adapter. What they call piggy rail? Yeah, whatever, or, uh, same difference. Things, yeah. Yeah. In, um, attached to this this thing is come as because you can put this on a sling mount for uh, rifles as well. Right. So what I'm gonna do is try and get this off so I can show you how to I put it back on. But this is fiddly. Yeah. I don't know if that'll come off now I'll force it back on. But but what you're saying is if you can see there's a just for piggy rail, there's piggy a swivel rails. mount on the bottom of this yeah, adapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see it there. Yeah. So this is actually made, this comes so, and it's got pads on there, so that'll fit onto like any swivel or any sling mount for your rifle, that'll fit on pretty much. And uh, yeah, so that comes for standard, like classical hunting rifles or, or one of the modern ones with a pick and tinny rail. So it's all ready to go on yours? Yep, pretty right, much. That's it, that's it. We're going to have to get some mats down for you, mate, lay on the grass and stuff, like yeah. smoke the lead and all that. So when setting this up, you want to pull your legs down because and try and hold it level, and you'll see that they stick out one way right. further than the other. Yeah. Because you want them sticking out. You want them forward of the forward of pointing forward, not back. As soon as you put pressure on it, or it's a yeah. heavy rifle, they're just going to fold in on you. Right. As we've got, you got showers when you lay, when you lay down with it. Apparently so. Did you get it for looks then, days, or did you rest it on the bench or something? Well, no, because I, I like bench shooting, so. Right. And, uh, this was yeah. just my final little. Yeah. Little, 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 little touch. Little piss, you know, you don't have to land the grass with it. That looked a so, beast, yeah. mate, with it. How, how are we going to show this? Resting on a whiskey barrel or something? Can do. Or, um, I could extendo get a little, legs. I could get a little table or something, maybe. Um, Oh, what about this big old child of wood sitting there? Yeah, actually. Yeah, should we sort that out? Yeah. yeah. Well, that is the oh, and you might be wondering what this thing is. I was. If you start an handle? Yeah. yeah. See, I'll, I'll crank start. Yeah. But if you loosen it up, yeah. you can then oh, look at that. And tilt your would gun. You, would you look at that? Lock it up and then. That. Just look at it. Would you look at that? Look at that. <laughs> Just look at it. And that's pretty much all the features of the bipods. Nice. Oh, yeah. you want to see it shooting now? Yeah, why not? Yeah, well, I think. I mean, that's what I mean. I, I, don't, I don't need an excuse to use your pellets, mate. Mate, I'm sure. So, what, what are you going to lean on? Me. What? What are you trying lean to Lean on me? On that's, a, that's a joke. Uh, lean on me. Hey, I've got it. <laughs> This is fucking pointless, mate. It's a bit of a funny camera angle because we're like tucked behind the door for the sound. That's quite good too, actually. I'm shooting like a Russian. You are a Russian. This, this is a Russian shoot. Yeah, undercover Russian. There you go. Did you hit what you aimed for? I think so. Yeah, go again, mate. Go again. Did you go for that target? Yeah. Centre. You've got to be hitting centre from there, yeah? Surely. Oh, what, on your super stable bin? Mate, you got a bipod, you got a PP. You can hold your breath for three seconds. Need a gyroscope sitting on this fucking thing. Right, there we go. Russian sniper. Russian AK shooting stance. I see what you mean, the bit. Things wobbling around a bit. Like. Yeah. Did you hear that? I hit something. Damn. Anyway, so. Right, anyway. Enough of the piss taking. That is it. How much pay for that in Dash? Uh, 21.99. Wow. Amazon. Bargain. Literally the cheapest one with extending legs I got. All metal, I must have metal's impressed. Yeah, the alley. And uh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Spring seam, nice and sturdy so they aren't going to snap on you at all. Beautiful. The only thing that'll probably snap is this little plastic candle, but 3D printers, we can print another one, so it doesn't yeah, really matter. Can you just it? take that off, do you think? Um, and sort of lock it down, or is that the side to side move? You really want that, would you really? No. Well, it depends. Maybe, in a combat situation. Yeah. Right? If you're shooting off the back of your 
car or something and off your, your boot slightly slope yeah, or something. Yeah, off the bin, I keep wobbling. Get your spirit level out and then make sure you've got the perfect <laughs> shot. You know what some of these shooters are like? Yes. But, right, I better turn that red dot off before I... Uh, right, I like it, Barry. I like it. Um, yeah. I'm going to start going. Let's have one last look at it. It do look pretty cool. Just walk in on it. Yeah. There we go, we'll extend the left as well. Yeah, Surely you've got a layer of grass with it. Come on, mate. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Right, you grass it level. I need to use it. You just, I suggested that as a sportsman here. Right. See, so you ground it level, so now you just help me. Come on, you got that sideways tripod. Yeah. Not too many, I heard that here. Got two in one. Well, well, as you all know, uh, gun accessories can be quite expensive, so cheap 20 quid one off Amazon. Brilliant. Like, we got down on the grass, the ground went level, so I just released the, the angle, you get 18 degrees, and yeah, that, that actually does the job, so I see why it's on there. I thought it was just a little bit of a gimmick, but... Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, nice bit of kit, and I'd say... The last upgrade is going to be in fixed because I want to try a prism scope, so I'm going to get a prism scope for this. Probably stick this on my 1077. That's good. Because um, that's 11 mil, like that is, and that's a pain in the ass finding 11 mil stuff nowadays. So uh, yeah, chuffed with it. Happy jobby. My PP700W is finally finished. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for our next video and uh, we'll see you again next time.